Yo, 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 it's El Antonio here. You know what it is, uh, AKA Zorro uh, in the building. Um, yeah, today we're gonna, we're gonna get, we're gonna, we have something fun planned today. Um, not gonna tell you yet, but uh, we're gonna do a transformation, hair transformation. So stay tuned and uh, yeah. What's up, sis? Hello, brother. So, uh, yeah, I'm here, and uh, my sister's gonna take good care of me. We're gonna do like a Gilbert Grape, Johnny Depp, Copper, Copper. Well, they won't. And then, but well, right now we're gonna get started with sectioning you out. So I'm gonna you to sit down. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you. Um, and yeah. You I'm... wanna take off your jacket? No, no, you're good. You're good. I wore these clothes on purpose for you to go hard. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. Would the glasses be? Oh, yeah, I would okay. take the glasses off. So, yo, sis, where did your journey start? And yeah, tell us, tell us. Uh, My cosmetology journey. Yeah, tell us what 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 made you start doing it, want to do this for people. Um, honestly, I've always had a passion for makeup, hair, you know, all the beauty stuff. Um. But I was also in college for three years. So I was at a university for two and then a junior, a JUCO for one. And um, it was okay, but college really wasn't for me. I mean, it wasn't that I was a terrible student. Here, you can turn it this way. It wasn't that I was a terrible student. It was just my heart wasn't really in it, you know? Um, I couldn't really get in, interested in the courses I was taking and I was always ditching and everything. But I don't know, something just told me like, part of the reason though was like fear. I was scared to go into cosmetology because I think everyone knew like mommy, mommy really wanted me to be in cosmetology school because she saw how miserable college made me. But I think deep down, I was just scared of the stigma. Um, I don't know. But I think I was just tired of trying to live a life that wasn't really for me. Cause I was gonna be a teacher, remember? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I remember. I mean, I do like working with kids. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I enjoy making people feel good. Um, when I did my friends. Yes. I did friends and I'm so sorry, but this looks hilarious. I've I know. never seen myself like that. Um, well, I gotta do it in four sections. Okay. Um, when I did Sophie's hair the other day, Theo never let Sophie get her hair done or anything like that. So he like was finally convinced, not convinced, but he was just like, okay, like Michelle can do it with your hair. And Sophie like loved it. And I don't know, I think that's just one thing about me is like, just knowing that I can make like other people feel good about themselves, whether it's like something minor. Um, Cause like once eventually, like I don't want to be doing hair in my room my whole career, you know? It's just where I'm starting. I I want to have my own studio, like my own suite, my own salon, my own business. And um, when I do that, I want people to come to me if they're having a bad day, you know, like just get their hair done, get their lashes done, get a facial, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. You know, that's mostly mm -hmm. what I want to do. I want to, like, it feels good making people feel good. Yes. You know, that's mostly it. Amen, amen. Amen to that. So, I know my my hero, my inspiration was Jimi Hendrix to pick mm -hmm. up the guitar. To actually pick up the electric guitar, yeah. it was Jimi Hendrix. Mm -hmm. My favorite artist, Kid Cudi, everyone knows Kid that. Kid Cudi. Everyone knows Hands that. Hands down. Everyone knows that. My favorite artist, Kid Cudi. But, the one who, like, made me actually, like... He's on right now. The one who actually, like, made me pick up the guitar was uh -huh. Jimi Hendrix, seeing yeah. him doing his craft. Yeah. So, you know, spit spit some to us. Let us know what's up, what what, what happened in Michelle's universe. Um, So there's this YouTuber back in like 20, I don't even know, I don't even know how long ago, but her name's Michelle Fawn. She's a makeup artist. Um, and honestly, like I enjoy doing hair. But I think my biggest passion, like, of the whole beauty community is doing makeup. Mm -hmm. um, because, as you can tell, like, I paint. Um, so, I feel like eyeshadow Stay is Stay tuned just, for that, is what you're saying. Yeah. Like, eyeshadow is basically like painting. It's art, just like 
but just on the face. Like the face is a canvas. That's how I look into it. And I think that's why my makeup's always on full week because like I am an artist. Um, but when it comes to hair, I don't know. I just always liked it. Like mommy never really did our hair. I mean, she would like yank it and put it in ponytails. Like that shit hurt. But I was always the one that would braid my hair, do like really cute things to it. Um, Three, two, one. Man, I'm having a blast here at Michelle's Beauty. Y'all don't hesitate to book an appointment. Mm -hmm. Follow me at Michelle's Beauty on Instagram. Wait, it's Mitch.L's Beauty. We'll put the link down <laughs> below, but it's very complicated. But I do lash lifts, lash perms. I'm going to tell you. Um, lash extensions, classics, um, I do hair perms, um, highlights, balayages, haircuts, um, layers, all of the above. Um, so yeah, just hit me up. All right, Michelle. So, mm -hmm. um, I walk into your room and it's really, really hard to not sit and literally stare at your artwork. I mean, check out the artwork, dude. It's insane. Thank you. Like, I, I literally want to sit. It's not like, like she, when I walk in here, we end up like talking about something uh -huh. and I can't even fully engage in the combo because I'm like checking out the art. Yeah. It's like so hard. Well, I don't know. I honestly, okay. A lot of people are like, what, what gets into your head when you want to paint? And I'm like this and that. And I'm like, honestly, like, I just, I just like kind of go freehand. Sometimes I will look at like some um, ideas, you know, like, um, like trippy art, stoner art. That's normally what I do. Like that's what I'm into. Something like cartoony, smoker girl aesthetic. Um, but I don't know. I get that a lot. Like a lot of people are like, there's so much to look at in your room. And before, like I used to have. Um, before I had that as like my um, my makeup and my hair shelf, I had oh, I had nothing but bottles on there. Remember? Do you remember? Uh, it was like twenty, not not even like I don't even know how many bottles there were, um, but there were a lot, a lot, a lot of bottles, and I had to get rid of them. And I felt like part of me was dead, like a part of me died. But it's what had to happen because like if I want to be if I'm serious about doing hair, doing makeup, being a cosmetologist, I sacrifices need to be made. Like, I can't have 20,000 bottles there. I look unprofessional. Oh, wow, wow. I did like a lot of stuff to my room that looks so much different than what it did before. Did a bottle like, like how you're saying, you felt like a part of you died. You yeah. wanna talk about that? Like, what do you mean like the bottle? Like, did this did one of them have a memory? They like, all have memories of me partying. Uh, like you remember this party? Yes. From that I had a crown royal from a party that I went to July fourth. Um, what other one? Tequila bottles from like Trinity Skin Sip. Are, are they gonna sip. know the crown crown apple that you're talking about? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm not sure. It was mostly like some of me and um, friends from a few years ago. And then like I have, well, everyone freshman year I was really into Pink Whitney. I don't know any freshman that was not into Pink Whitney, um, but Pink Whitney is actually like, I don't know, I'm a buzzball girl now, I love buzzballs, but I love this song, me too, I love Kanye, I feel like I'm gonna get canceled for saying that, but I love Kanye, he may be crazy, but hey, I'm crazy too, I mean, we're not all perfect, but... No one's perfect. You cannot lie. The man makes beautiful music. He makes beautiful music. It's literally his art. Like how So, Michelle, yes. I'm 26. How old are you? I'm 21. 21. I turned 22 in March. Now, um... I mean, we got, we got young bucks watching us. I know mm -hmm. I got young bucks watching me. You got young bucks watching you. Mm -hmm. What age was like the age where you were struggling the most? Six. Mindfully, mindfully. Seventh grade. And, and do you feel like you're, you've grown mentally where it's like, you have advice for someone who's in that grade and who might be 
struggling mindfully, you know? Yeah. If I can go back in time and just hug my younger self and just tell her like that everything would be okay, um, I would. Mm -hmm. um, because she was really going through it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I hated middle school for many reasons, but um, I don't know. Middle schoolers are just so cruel, honestly. Like, they're so rude. Um, mm -hmm. That's why, like, when Joshy started middle school and he told me he loved it, I was like, what? Like, are you for real? Like, because mm -hmm. I hated middle school. But then mommy was like, it's because he's a boy. And that's true. Like, I had a different experience because I was a girl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know. I hated. I hated middle school. Um, I really struggled a lot mentally. Um, middle school for me. Uh, I got made fun of a lot in middle school. Mm -hmm. um, and high school, I got made fun of a lot too. But eventually, I ended up just embracing people laughing at me, and I ended. <laughs> and up, now look where you were, where you got. Yeah, and then I ended up making them laugh, and I was like. Dude, why was I taking myself so serious? I'm just gonna uh -huh. dance in front of the whole class and make everyone laugh, you know? Yeah. It's like, shit, I'm having fun doing it, you know? Yeah. Making everyone laugh. But I don't mean to curse, but sometimes it's just my bad habit. Oh, I have a bad potty mouth. My bad. I may need to cut it a few times. Um, No, like, well, the one thing though, too, is like, um, like with Joshy, I know Joshy, like, I know he's getting older and everything, but um, I can't help but think like one day Josh is gonna swear, and I'm like, no, oh, you can't. God. But I hear him say crap a lot. Mm -hmm. Like I see, hear him say crap no. when he's playing Fortnite with um, his friends, and he's just like, it's okay. But I, just, I have a really bad potty mouth, and um, I don't know. I. But I'm very good at work. Like, at my job, because I work with kids, Right. I have to, like, go in a censored mode, like, and everything. Um, I gotta, I gotta shout out my Tia Jesse, Tia Maria, for, uh, for doing my hair last time. I'm just sharing the love here, familia. Mm -hmm. Keep your head straight, babe. Oh. Why are you leaning back? I'm sorry. It's okay. All right, guys, what do you think? Oh, oh wait. <laughs> All right, retake, retake. All right, y'all, what do you guys think? Did my sister kill the game or what? I think so. What? I love it. I feel beautiful. Period. <laughs> I mean, come on now. Thank you. As he should.